Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence with question number nine in this series, We Ask.TV. The question today has to do with taking electronic payments on your website for services. So I'm sure this will be a question that a lot of people have. Uh, this question came from Frank from Number One Recycling, actually a client of mine. Uh, they have a recycling pickup service in the Denver area. So let's go ahead and look at the question that he sent. Frank wrote me an email and said, is there a fairly simple way to add a tab to our website for clients to pay with credit cards? We just now implemented a charge for the glass aluminum pickup and realized that most people or businesses don't use checks anymore. So we want to be able to offer an easy way for them to pay. It would be for monthly or quarterly payments. Each client has a customer ID and the charges are different depending on how many dumpsters and monthly pickups they have. I would like them to be able to click on what month or quarter they're paying for. So it's a good question and obviously a lot of businesses are looking to take payments on their website. People aren't writing checks as much anymore. Uh, most things are done online. So it's a good question. There's all different types of payments that are done online. In this case, it's more of payment for a service. And it's important to note that uh, Frank said it's a different amount depending on what type of service uh, was offered or delivered. Uh, in this case, you know, a different number of dumpsters or pickups. So every customer is getting charged a different amount. So that's important because it's very different from like selling a widget on your site or let's say like a bag of coffee and it's the same price for everybody. This is an invoice for a service and it's different for each customer. So I'm gonna explain a few different options for taking these types of payments on your website. And the first thing I'm gonna recommend is looking for an industry solution. And a great way to do this is to look at other websites or um, businesses in your industry who are already taking payments on their website. So a lot of times there's gonna be an industry solution for different types of industries, like in this case, you know, trash, recycling, co collection. There might be companies that are already providing an entire solution where you can manage your, you know, your accounting, your customers all in one place and take payments. So in this case, I might look for a few different uh, trash service, trash collectors. I'm just looking at two websites that I'm familiar with that I've used locally, you know, to pick up trash in my house. So the first one is called Groot. And if I go to like my account on this website and say create a new account, it's going to take me to this website and I can see in the URL it says wcicustomer.com. So it's kind of a trick, but you can kind of figure out what these different companies are using. So in this case, I'm just gonna to go to wcicustomer.com. And this is actually some business waste connections and they do bill pay um, for waste collection companies. So that's one example. So you could then investigate this site, see if it might be a good fit for you. If I go to another uh, trash collection business that I'm using currently, I'm gonna go ahead and click on make a payment and they actually have this payment widget on their website that I've used personally to pay my bill here for, with this business. And then down at the bottom, I see soft pack dot, or just soft pack in the copyright line. So I'm actually gonna go to softpack.com just to kind of see what that is. And you can see it's software solutions and it's trash software for the waste management industry. So this is a great example of a uh, specialized service that's being offered in this industry and they offer all kinds of services including uh, bill payments and payment collections. So you can investigate these different services to see if there's one in your specific industry that might be a good fit for you. Now keep in mind that most of these solutions are offering a lot more than just payment collections. So it might be more expensive, they might be offering more than you need, or maybe they're offering some great services that uh, are gonna help out your business overall. So this is just the first option to investigate uh, when looking for ideas or methods of taking payments on your website for services. So the next option that I wanna mention that a lot of my clients do use is PayPal. A lot of people think of PayPal when they think of taking uh, payments on their website uh, because it's just very popular. So you can put a payment button for PayPal on your website pretty easy. I actually have another video that goes through the process of adding a PayPal buy now button on your website. So for example, if we look at one of my client sites that does MLS listings, we just put some PayPal links down here in the buy now section. So if I click buy now, it's just a $500 payment. 
it will redirect people to PayPal to make a payment. Now with PayPal, you can pay with a PayPal account or a credit card. It's not a very seamless process because it takes people off your website uh, to PayPal. So it is a free option. You only pay for the uh, service char the payment processing fee, which is around 2.9%. But other, other than that, it's free. So it's a pretty good, simple option. So I wanted to mention that, but it's pretty limited in what it can do. It's just a payment uh, and you could put a button on your website and that's pretty much it. So check out my other video if you wanna see how to add a PayPal button to your website. So the second option I wanna mention is QuickBooks Payments. I don't have personal experience with this, but I know that so many people use QuickBooks for their accounting that for a lot of people, it might make sense to just look into QuickBooks Payments. So I know you can do invoicing, you can do payments online, by phone, uh, they have recurring payments. And the nice thing about it is it'll probably integrate nicely into your accounting. So you could send out invoices uh, based on the other uh, bookkeeping that you have in your QuickBooks account. It looks like they charge 1% for bank transfers and then pretty normal fees, 2.4 to 3.4 for credit card transactions and no monthly fees and then another 25 cents per transaction. So definitely check out QuickBooks payments to uh, do invoicing for services, especially if you're already using QuickBooks for your accounting. So the next option I'll mention is Square, and it's similar to QuickBooks, uh, but you could probably look into Square even if you're not using them for accounting because they offer some uh, pretty good payment services so you can take payments on your phone or tablet using a credit card swipe hardware device. Uh, you could take payments via invoice, you could send out invoices, and then you could take payments on your website as well. So you can check them out at squareup.com or I think square.com will work as well. Um, another thing to consider is they have other options like Square Appointments. I've done videos on Square Appointments. This would work great for service uh, professionals who are, you know, like a hair salon or massage uh, parlor where you're taking um, appointments and you want to do payments at the same time as appointments. So Square Appointments would be a great option for that, but Square Payments also allows you just to do payments without any appointments attached to it. Just send out invoices to your clients for uh, for payments. So there's obviously a lot of other solutions out there, but those are just a few I wanted to mention. Uh, the industry solution, so searching other competitors or other similar businesses to see what they're using on their website. Uh, and then PayPal buttons is an option. QuickBooks, especially if you're utilizing QuickBooks for counting. And then the last option I mentioned was Square. And then also check out my Square Appointments video, which I'll link to below. If you're looking to sell products on your website, on more of a standard e-commerce uh, website where you're just selling products for a one-time fee, check out my other video where I go over the two uh, methods that I typically use to create e-commerce websites for my clients. And if you have a question that you want me to answer in this video series, go to weask.tv and you can submit your question uh, by email, in audio or video form, and then maybe I'll feature your question on the next video. So check out the next video and we'll see you there.